I, I want to ask you uh, what your thoughts are on some of the newer technologies and devices that are coming along that address the the nasal valve. So, you know, like the Latera implant or the, you know, Vivere Aaron Med device, and there's probably more, but basically they're aimed at treating the nasal valve, but not in the way that we trained when we were speaking of, you know, rhinoplasty techniques. So I'm going to caveat this with, I have a selection bias. So I've, right. you know, most of the people that come to me have failed those kind of interventions, but I haven't anecdotally, and I guess, you know, we're surgeons and we look at literature and all that, but I don't feel like um, patients have derived a lot of relief from those kind of uh, interventions. And on top of that, I feel like, uh, especially with the Latera, uh, I've had to take them out. They get infected. Huh. You know, conceptually, they feel they're fine. And, you know, like the conceptually, you're like, okay, you're addressing the valve in a structural way. But I've had to take them out because they've gotten infected and they cause problems. And in, in general, I don't really recommend using synthetics in the nose because, you know, even if, uh, you know, if you place it, you know, 20, 30 years from now, they can become infected. So uh, I don't offer that, but I surely tell my patients, like, this is an option, you know, uh, synthetics or lateras or implants. I don't do it. This is the reason why, but there's plenty of surgeons that will do it, but it's important for you to understand all the options available to you so that they don't feel like I cornered them into like a specific surgical procedure. Right. Right. Well, I think what you said is key, right? It's who you see. Um, and I think that that same sort of, if you do a lot of sinus, whether you balloon, don't balloon, like whether you do tympanoplasty, do you do bio design versus no, I always take fascia from the patient. I mean, right. Yeah. And in the, in the world of ENT, it, it's funny because it's like, you know, anecdotally from a personal standpoint, just the complexity of the valves from a structural standpoint, I feel like a lot of these stuff doesn't necessarily address it the way it should, you know, like. But they are more simplistic so that they could, you know, be used by a broader range of otolaryngologists. You know, do I necessarily believe that they're like a cure-all? No. And, you know, they probably have like an inherent value that like, you know, a certain amount of people will derive benefit. But I don't think it's like, okay, well, here's a Latera. You know, it's going to work in, you know, internal nasal valve class. Like, you know, I, I hope you guys could appreciate like, you know, I spend a lot of time trying to figure out what's wrong with the nose. And it's not just a matter of like, it's the internal nasal valve, here's a Latera, because it could be like the other things involved. So I feel like that attempt, especially in otolaryngology, to try and make procedures more accessible to a broader range of surgeons, just making it simpler. Uh, I don't necessarily agree that it, that patients will derive the benefit that they, that they should, you know, but it works in probably a subset of them. Yeah. Yeah. I would imagine trying to take it out is kind of a pain if you're having to take that out for infection is that yeah uh okay. infection but it's not even just infections you know a lot of patients are like uncomfortable they're yeah. just like i had this they place and, like i can feel it skin. and like yeah and can you take that just, out in clinic i usually by the time they get to me i don't because then i'll usually do like i'll do a procedure i'll take it out and then i'll reconstruct the valve area as well but then there was other things where people were like putting sutures like um my tech sutures in like the infraorbital regions and then suturing yeah. them over to the valve which, you know, conceptually makes perfect sense. They're like, all right, well, pulling up on your skin makes you feel better. I'm going to yeah. put this permanent suture and, you know, tack it down to your periosteum. Yeah. But, you know, all that stuff just falls out of favor. And, you know, I don't think, I think, you know, surgeons that did it before, they're not doing it anymore because they probably had unhappy patients because it probably didn't work. But 